Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to set up the Tascam US16X08 outputs in Cubase and Nuendo. Click on Studio. Click on Audio Connections. Then click on the Outputs tab. If your output is like mine, you will only have one stereo out, stereo output listed. So click on Add Bus. To set up a stereo output, click on the config drop list. And click on Stereo. Now, type in a name for your stereo output. Here, I will call it Stereo Out 2. Then click on OK. You can click on the arrow to the left of the bus name to expand or compress the details. If your output list is like mine, Stereo Out has the audio device set to US16X08 and the left output set to Out1 and the right output set to Out2. And now, Stereo Out 2 has the audio device set to US16X08 and the left output set to Out 3 and the right output set to Out 4. Now click on Add Bus again. The config drop list should already say Stereo. So type in a name for your new Stereo output. Here, I will call it Stereo Out 3. Then click on OK. Now click on Add Bus again. And type in a name for your Stereo Output. Here, I will call it Stereo Out 4. Then click on OK. If your output list is like mine, Stereo Out 3 has the audio device set to US16X08, the left output set to Out 5, and the right output set to out 6. And the Stereo Out 4 has the audio device set to US16X08, left output set to out 7, and right output set to out 8. These device ports, out 1, out 2, out 3, out 4, out 5, out 6, out 7, and out 8, are the 8 outputs on the US16X08. If you want to send a sound to just one output, like maybe you want to send a mono signal to a monitor for your drummer, click on Add Bus again. Then click on the Config drop list. And click on Mono. Type in a name for your new mono output. I will call this Mono Output 1. And click on OK.
Here, the mono output has been set to out1, but I want it on output 7. So click on out1. And then click on out7 on the pop-up window. You can set up stereo outputs and mono outputs to use the same US16X08 outputs. You can also click on any of the stereo outputs and select a different output for either the left or right output. So for instance, here I could change stereo out 4 so the left output is out 3. So stereo OUT4 now has left output on OUT3 and right output on OUT8. Finally, click on the X icon to close the pop-up window. Now click on a track and in the inspector you can click on the output drop list. Now click on any one of the US16X08 outputs to change which output the track is sent to. Now my vocal track 1 is being sent to stereo out 3. And stereo out 3 is set to the US16X08 outputs 5 and 6. If I want to send my vocal track to a monitor for the singer, I can do this through sends. So click on the sends icon. Now click on an empty slot. And then click on any one of the US16X08 outputs. Here I will send it to my mono output 1. Now click on the fader position icon to choose pre-fader or post-fader. Then click on the on off icon to turn on the send. Finally, press the mouse cursor on the game bar and drag left or right to reduce or increase the send level. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!